So here's the Viking offense making their way out. Leading them out at QB is the former North Carolina Tar Heel, Mitchell Trubisky. All right, I see. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. It's caught. Smith calling no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Let's take a look here at the offense for Minnesota. And what a tough environment to roll into. On the road, playing one of the better teams in the league, obviously, because this is the playoffs. So what do teams talk about? Bringing their own momentum, bringing their own energy on the road, because you know you won't get any from the home crowd. First carry for the Boise State Bronco, Alexander Madison. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. And we look now at the defense for the Giants. When I watch Khalil Mack play, I just see fury, passion, and incredible athleticism. This guy can flat out play. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And he's able to find Diggs. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Here's Madison running on first down. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. On second down, this is Madison. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Third and it's a loss of two. Now third down. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. The Vikings send out their punter as the first drive of the game stalls out. He's on to punt. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Take it in at the 22. Uh, looking out for that. Uh, Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. So now here are the Giants as they'll get their first opportunity here. And we get a glance here at their leader. The man will be calling the plays under center. It's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers. I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's so, he's so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not, that told me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get That's true. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. It's a gain of 34. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. 
for big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely look for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And the result here, the pick up the Leaves him with two to go on second down. That wasn't my put me down. yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Now Saquon Barkley. Inches. One. Yep. Three. And we take a look now at the New York offense. So many weapons on this offense, and we've seen them all season long score from any point on the field. But we all know playoff football comes down to playing smart. The game slows down, and it's harder to move it. So you've got to avoid penalties, avoid turnovers, and not let your emotions get the best of you. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? I think yeah, I had better that last big practice beforehand. Man, you go through your offensive things. script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. I don't, I don't know first down carry for Barkley. And he's Kicker, just Hunter. inside of the 10 at the 11. Missing a PAT. made by Eric Kendricks. And a look at the Vikings' defensive unit. Harrison Smith is a player I love to watch. Whether he's ranging deep as a free safety or near the line of scrimmage where he makes more plays, keep your eyes on him. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. All right, let's go. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. Third and four. Back to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. And when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. And his kick is good. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. Every possession in the postseason magnified. And look, it's just the opening drive. They didn't get the touchdown they wanted, but at least they got on the board. They got on the board. They've got their home crowd into board it board as board. well. And remember, in the playoffs, the game slows down a little bit. So every point is precious. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. They'll need to come from behind if they want to play in two weeks as they trail early in this NFC Championship game. Off the play fake. Here's Trubisky. Yeah, I hate Kirk. Escaping, he yeah, goes down. Yeah, right here, Khalil Mack able to yeah. drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Let's make these babies cry. They'll run with Madison. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a yeah, running back of this size and these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because... Interception! And it's intercepted. Picked off at the 48. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. 
Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down the score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Well. The New York set to take the field. Well, what do you think? You get the ball at the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here in the first play. You know I'm big on that. I mm, love when I have great field position. Team. After a turnover, I feel like I might have them a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot. But a lot of coaches will tell you, you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn it into an interception. Hopefully he'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. Just a yard on the catch there. Be second and nine. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. On the draw, this is Barkley. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And finally taken down at the 35 yard line. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And of course, remember back to their first drive. Really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through them. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and ten here. They'll drop the throw. Let's go. He's got it. Complete. Inside right the 20 before he's brought down. 17 yards and a giant first down. They all came together there. In breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Especially down here toward the goal line. The call comes in, and the call essentially says all 11 have to make a play here. You have to show toughness. We just saw it there. So, second and goal, and standing by himself in the backfield, Barkley. Let's try this again. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he takes it the end zone for a giant TD. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. First quarter touchdown run. Remember this coming on the heels of his NFC Offensive Player of the Week performance. It was so great last week. Did you feel the rumble all the way up here? Oh, the big the bodies up front. Big bodies moving people. And him, of course, charging through those great holes that were created. So off to a great start here. Maybe looking for award number two, adding to the award that he won last week in the NFC. The try here for the extra point. Now, these are not going to be easy on a cold, snowy night, oh, but this one is a fan throw. That time, a six-play drive. And the rookie, Saquon Barkley, the one who finishes things off with a touchdown run.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And this offense led by Mitchell Trubisky going to make their way back out there. And he'll look to rebound from the early interception that led to six points the other way. And when he threw the interception and he had to come to the sideline, I guarantee his first thought wasn't about the interception itself, but what could result. And I know he was thinking to himself, come on, defense, bail me out. Well, they weren't able to in this situation. Now he's got to go out and atone for it himself, but he can't force things. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Running from the shotgun with Madison. And he'll get this one up to the 26. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. A two-yard gain. Yeah, I had a better uh, talent. Yeah, the gun on third down, down, it's Trubisky. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. The Vikings send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And he fields it cleanly. Oh, snap. I was... <laughs> Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. All right, let's go. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. On second down, here's Barkley. And I went nowhere. Here to the 31 yard line. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Come on, grab it. And he out. All the way in for a touchdown. A big play there. 69 yards. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. On this stage, conference championship game, every play is magnified, and that was a big play. No doubt about it. One thing that has these guys a step away from a shot at the big game, no, that be playing their the big play ability. The they can strike from anywhere. At least. Now for the point after. He's got it, and it's 17-0. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants.
set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look and look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. Now it's Trubisky. And another interception. My goodness. Julian Love picks it. For a pick six. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. For a pick six. Let's go. We just saw that's a great example of a team that was really yes. amped up. They've been playing so the well. Be yeah, they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead is swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. The first half being even oh, isn't even over yet. We still in the first quarter. Man. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And the lead is now 24. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot down the field. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Here's Trubisky. And Diggs has it. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. And this is good for a first down, his second grab of this NFC Championship bout. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll run it with Madison. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out. Because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, second, second and 11. Going on the ground with Madison. And an alley to run. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards there. First down Vikings. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result. Because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter. And a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Trubisky now off the bootleg. Now Trubisky the football, and the Giants have it. It's picked up, and his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Thank goodness for heaters up here, and thank goodness I don't have to carry the football in this game. It's January. It's cold out there. Trying to clutch the football and absorb the hits, not easily done. Yeah, we saw a product of the elements right there.
And New York set to take the field. And they have to be pleased with the way that they moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now. The field goal probably feels like a disappointment. They'll run on first down. Barkley. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. On second down, Barkley. He's got a oh! much more inside the 20. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. Give him 18 there, and the Giants have a first down. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. First down, Barkley, and here he'll get it down to the seven. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right at it, it's touchdown again. Touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away as his guys continue to pour it on. Now, first quarter, and this lead is already getting into dangerous territory. They better be careful on the other sideline. Yeah, it feels a little bit more like a basketball game where one team is pressing and that team can't get the ball over half court. I mean, it's stealing it and scoring it, layups, the whole deal. That's what it feels like right now. They are all over it. You always worry about the plant foot in the snow, but no problems there. And the route is on here in this first half. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25 yard line. We got trips over here. Trips over here. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. He finds his man, Johnson. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Second and six, just inside the 30. They go play action. Trubisky. Sick. To escape, and he goes down. Khalil Mack. Make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Let's see what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. Draw play, Madison. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. But they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. And he puts a little something extra into this one. By far his best of the night. This will be fielded at the 17. Hmm. A terrific return there, 27 yards all told. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. 
Look at me break them ankles. Now this offense about ready to take over again. And they have made this look easy. And there's not supposed to be anything easy about the NFL playoffs, but this lead, yes, they're at home, but this has been impressive. And we hear all the time when upsets happen, teams go on the road, that maybe home field advantage isn't all it's cracked up to be. But you and I both know the reality is teams really fight hard to get it. Why? You don't ever have to change routine. Everything's familiar going into the game. It makes things easier. And that has paid off for them in a big way in this contest. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Back to throw now on second and ten. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. A fumble. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And the Vikings pick up the football. And they take possession two yards away from midfield mm. at the 48-yard line. We've got plenty of weather here today. We've got some snow going on, and they've come out of a dome. And there have been two ways of getting ready for this. Some have said, don't worry about the weather. Just practice in your normal conditions and handle it on game day. And others have said, find some weather, find some conditions somewhere, and try and get ready. What do you think? Well, whatever the preparation there, the snow causing the fumble. Here's Stephon Diggs as he and the rest of the offense get ready to go again. You would have to think they're going to make it more of a priority to get him the football you're losing here in the second quarter and he's been really quiet i think all we have to do and it's too bad we can't actually see the actual play sheet now from the coordinator because he's looking down at that and saying okay do i put him in different spots do i try and isolate him what routes do i run you're exactly right they've got to get the ball in his hands and get their offense kick started he does have the two catches but pretty quiet so far here's madison and this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. Looking for his this running back, is, and he's got it. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Get ready, get ready. Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our oh. meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because through. we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We well, he said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different oh, drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well, and he's been right. And that's caught inside the 35. Yes. The game oh. turned eight yards there and give him a first down. I love that play because in the snow you think run, run, run. Big passing play there. And defenders hate it, especially in open space, because trying to come under control, break down and make a tackle in the open field, difficult in normal conditions. In these conditions, almost impossible. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10, down at the 33. They'll run with Barkley. Eric Kendricks in on the tackle. This guy is well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. On second down now. Barkley. Now Barkley stripped of the football. And this belongs this to the Vikings. Gotta be the run there. And now three drives, three fumbles. What's amazing about it is when we go around and watch practices, how many times do we see them put that sleeve over a football now to make it more slippery and hard to handle? It's almost like they're playing with that sleeve on the ball right now. 
was that three drives? Yep. yep. Three, three fumbles? Three fumbles. It's time to change our luck some way, somehow. Focus, Technically, concentration. They fumbled. You'll hear those words on the bench in a big way right now. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious in these conditions. Nope. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Sorry, Khalil even in one My position. goodness, make that now five sacks for him in this ball game. Really, really turning in an incredible performance. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Now a give to Madison. And this has been a recurring Not theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage. That's all. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Now Another set. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. I wonder if this offensive line just simply doesn't like him. I mean, they've given up six sacks in this game. He's had nowhere to go, nowhere to run, and obviously nowhere to hide. And they can't be doing in the first half. This is just complete domination. The Vikings send out their punter as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Fielded at about the 28. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Barkley unable to get away on the first down run as he'll be stopped for a loss of a game. Dang, I saw the first one. A loss of two on the play. And it'll Y'all be second get the, and 12. Stop the second one. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef, they want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards, now they'll come up on second and 12. Here we go on second and 12. Throwing right in, that's complete. Woo. And he stopped right at midfield. 17 yards and a giant first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And is it 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Fourth down. 
Okay. Not only was the call good. spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. The Vikings offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness. Maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Throwing here, Trubisky. Got the connection here to Bourne. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. The Vikings send out their punter as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. And this is a way. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And we'll see what he can do on the return. Mm, so close. A nice job on the return there. 16 yards. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk, and he loses the football at the oh. time. And the Vikings pick up the football. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. I don't care what the scoreboard says, partner. He knows winning this game right now. Mother Nature? Yes, <laughs> indeed. Precipitation's winning in a big way. Sloppy, sloppy. All these turnovers right now. Yeah, well, this was the forecast. We got what was forecasted, and we've gotten a lot of turnovers. And now we move our focus to Stephon Diggs. A chance maybe here for them to get him more involved. They're down here on the scoreboard, and he's been very quiet. And the silence has been deafening for his team. They don't need that at all. They need fireworks. They need explosive plays. They need him touching the football in any way possible. Maybe go to some okay, they did a booth for you. anything to get him going. Yeah, something to get him the ball. We'll see if they can do it. But he dropped it when he, when he hit the ground. So does that count? Oh, yeah. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next okay, drive. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this structure. Don't you think that when Get out of my way. For the first time, ah! the first and first day of camp in the regular season. Ball security comes up about what the second sentence of the coach's address. And those are so many. Mario, oh, right, let me go for the touchdown. The time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out though.
soon as I seen him. Joop. can they do here on second and goal three red zone trips so far have yielded two touchdowns and a field goal now it's Barkley and maybe a measure of revenge there he's on his way in this one but this time they get him behind the line that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down an interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. It's a pickup of three, but still a little work to do on third and goal. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness. Think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. On third down, Blair, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. This situation in the fourth quarter, you go for it, but here, take the points. If you go for it here and don't get it, you and I are missing our plane, and we're going to the post-game press conference to hear him justify it. Because the next thing we'll see is the owner walking in, announcing a firing. There is no way he goes for it here. Get the field goal. It's the first half of the game. You've got time to make it up. And his kick is good. And they're well on their way now as the lead grows even larger. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And this offense led by Mitchell Trubisky going to make their way back out there. The second quarter, they're down big already. He's struggling as well. They've got to find something here. He's got to find something on this drive. And sometimes you take out all that extra pressure on yourself and maybe you have to disperse it a little bit. Lean on some other people. Lean on your teammates. Find someone. No escape and he goes down. Dexter Lawrence in there to drop him, and that is the seventh time tonight that he has gone down. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle on the handoff it's madison absolutely nobody fooled there he's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage anytime you call an inside running play you just know there should be a lot of congestion there you're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage that didn't happen in this case and that play got bottled up These guys have run it four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Here's Trubisky to throw. Open man is born. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. That's certainly playing down a distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. The Vikings send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. This is taken at the 18. Oh, heck of a move. Man. Oh. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25.
Why are you still like that? Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. He's been in a pretty good group. They actually have more yards on the ground and through the air, but both have been good, pretty balanced. And have we ever met a coach when we've talked to him before a game that hasn't mentioned wanting to be balanced? No, because then you've got both sides hitting the defense. They don't know what to expect, right? Really helps your play calling because now you're in a position where you're confident in either one, either aspect of the game. Dial it up and let it go. And so mm. far, that's allowed them to lead. Absolutely. Have the lead here in the second quarter. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. But the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside. Make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him. And the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Here's the second and seven. He'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And Let's taking it go. across midfield and inside the 45. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. On first down, Barkley. Flash the stick skills Ooh. on that run, but then stop shy of the 35. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. A reminder, as we've done all year, we'll send you to Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report in a bit. The coach is with us per usual as we start to look ahead, Charles, to our potential matchups in this year's Super Bowl. Break it down, coach. Break it down. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Well, from my vantage point, that's just one bad play by the offensive line and a running back who's had a, a lot of good ones tonight. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he's not going to be ticked off, nor is the offensive line, because to me it's a lot like a no-hitter, right? Pitcher's throwing a no-hitter, gives up a hit late. You're so close to accomplishing everything you want and don't quite get it done. They'll come back with a vengeance on the next play. They'll set up a throw. He's going to go Oh! Touchdown! He's got it for a giant touchdown. As his guys are in for six. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Point after here coming up. And oh my goodness, this is nowhere close. Well to the right and no good. So with the missed PAT in his rear view mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. All right, hold on, be right back. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here's Stephon Diggs as he and the rest of the offense get ready to go again. Hasn't had his best day to this point here in the second quarter. They're losing. You got to think, though, that also means that maybe the defense doing a good job on him. There's two sides to that coin. I would agree, so you have to give them credit, but that means you've got to find a way to beat that defense and make sure one of your top playmakers touches the football and has an impact on the game. Change formations, change where he lines up, put him in motion, anything possible to shake him free. Maybe that greater impact comes here on this drive. Now Trubisky. Now right to board. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the gun, it's Trubisky. It's caught. Smith. 
I leave for a few minutes and the Giants defense came in. Coach is always hard on the quarterback, my heart. reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah. yeah. When, he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Throw there, throw away again. Wind up incomplete. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And Zero this to is the run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over the spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. They've sort of epitomized balance. I mean, he's thrown the ball pretty well. They've run the ball well. Got to be pretty happy over on that sideline. Takes a lot of pressure off, doesn't it? As much as those guys back there want to throw the ball around and be the focal point, when you're able to run it well and hold the defense back from their pass rush, it allows you to throw it as well as we're seeing so far in this game. Yeah, now they'll be looking to add to their lead here in the second quarter. Nifty oh. running by Barkley there on first down. He scoots forward for seven yards, sets him up nicely, second and three. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he'll be brought down, it looks like right at the 40. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Um. So we've reached halftime. Who will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl? Two more quarters to go. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. As always, what half remains in the battle to see who will take home that George Hallis trophy and represent the NFC in the Super Bowl? We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's look back to the AFC Championship game held earlier today. And it's the Buffalo Bills who are heading to the Super Bowl as they await the winner of this NFC Championship game. Meanwhile, our game has been a boat race. Very one-sided to this point. And for the call of the second half, let's get it back to our commentating team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This is That'll be taken in the easy. end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And New York set to take the field. They had a big first half. Now they have a chance to add to that lead here in the opening possession of the second half. And everyone always asks about halftime adjustments, kind of the key phrase. What did you do at halftime? Well, the way they ran offense in the first half, I think they were very calm, congratulatory, but also what they were saying is, don't expect them to be the same on defense. And got his man complete. Let's the go. first play of the second half, a big success, over 30 yards. What a game it's been for this duo. They remind me of a good comedy team. They know how to play off of each other so well. No matter how one riffs, the other's right there to pick them up, and they are shredding them in this ball game. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Barkley. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Ah, broke his ankles. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. He'll drop to throw. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. There to knock that one away defensively, Eric Kendricks. 
Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. Stop short on the 25, but that second effort got him a couple extra. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. Now back to throw. The kid here, it's complete. Yo! The ball comes out, and the Vikings pick up the football. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. I'm on the factors into the game. It's not just trying to take care of the ball, and we just saw there that that's difficult to do, but just trying to keep your feet and carry out your assignments and, and make sure you're comfortable while you're out there playing. Are you warm enough in your clothing? A million things going on, but the biggest one, hold on to the ball. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. Yeah, they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive. Missed field goal. I'm mad about because, my last you know, drive. You put something out there. You're giving yourself a chance. You're in that range. The ball doesn't go through the post. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Khalil Mack in there to get him again. That is sack number six. One off the NFL record of seven. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Another six. Four-yard line. Khalil Mack in there for the seventh time in this game alone, and that ties him with the late Derek Thomas for the most sacks ever in a single game. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big, and now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, but, oh, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. The Vikings send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. And he's able to get it out of there, and this is a pretty good kick. Fielded just inside the 30. Do y'all not fumble the ball this time? It'll be a 63-yard punt. Well done. And it'll be giant football first and 10. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. How do you think he personally is evaluating his game so far? He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's got to like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and 2, alert for anything out there, watching for trouble on the road, and making sure you get the team. I got one take and I driver. still get hit. See if we can drive the bus here again on this drive. That kind of looked like a defense fed up by being gashed in the running game all night. Yeah, and imagine their coach saying, if you're fed up on that play, where were you the rest of the time? What took you so long? But flip it over to the offensive side. They've been dominating this thing, and to finally have a play go against them, that's not something that's going to make them feel very good this evening. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Second and 13. Looking for Shepard deep. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Going for me. 32 that time. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush. A lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for them. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Looking to throw. 
He's a shot on the pitch. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Back-to-back -back plays of right around 30 yards, and the field position has totally been flipped. And that's now two big catches on this drive for him. You know, the NFL keeps talking about the possibility of using video for coaching on the sidelines. That's not approved yet, but you can still use pictures. They've got to send his picture down to their defense and say, you see him? Cover it. They come out here in the eye. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. This is Barkley. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. So second and goal, and standing by himself in the backfield, Barkley. He'll get it up the middle. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Line of scrimmage at the four. Here's third and goal. Come on, Barkley. Here's Barkley. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Oh, so now the field goal game. unit trots out there for the third time tonight. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And his kick here is good. And that will just add three more to a lead that's already out of hand. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one taken from the seven. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Mitchell Trubisky on his way out, the subject of our player's spotlight. And this defense, they came prepared. He's probably going to be seeing them in his sleep if they don't fix things quickly. And that's not exactly what he wants to see in his post-game slumber. So they've got to figure out a way to slow things down a little bit. Some screen passes, some draws, anything to make the defensive front hesitate a little bit. Think on their way back to the quarterback, maybe even a quarterback draw, some type of tendency breaker to change things up. Exactly. Whatever the case, something to mix it up here. Looking oh. for there on first down, but this throw down field incomplete. Stephon that should have been intercepted. Receiver. That'll bring up second down. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. And again this time to the tailback. One yard, the official pickup there, so it's going to set up third and nine. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now it's Trubisky going deep for Diggs. And that's caught inside the 30. Oh, you lucky bastards. Down deep on the giant side of the field. It's a big one there for the Vikings. 53 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. 
He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. And he'll give it here to his running back. And it's a fumble, and the Giants have it. It's picked up. Big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Finally, why does it work on my side for once? The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. So after that hot start, the numbers here show the decline. What has the defense done adjustment-wise? Sometimes when you have a running back who's gotten off to a hot start, you've got to catch him before he really gets going. So you change what you're doing across the defensive front. Instead of the linebackers being back a few yards, you bring them up closer. It's what we call mugging the line of scrimmage taking away a lot of blocking angles and gaps and maybe stopping him before he can get going. Mugging the line of scrimmage, okay. Yeah, in this case, it's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. On play action, they'll throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Let's yeah, go. Just, just shy of the 45-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Uh, he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. This quarterback now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. There's that man again. It's complete. I think you better not fumble it. I seen that ball man shaky. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. The goal for any offense versus his own defense find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. This quarterback now nearing the 300-yard mark with still a quarter to play. It's first and 10. On the run, it's Barkley. Now who now a flag comes play? In from the young Why? After a gain of about four. And this looks like it's going to be holding. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. A pass down the middle is fought for and hold in. He got 29 go, yards that time. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big time play right there. Other than the brother, I probably would, if it wasn't for the brother, I probably would have made it. But I do gotta stop messing up, though. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Yikes, a four yard loss really sets him back now for second down. That last play, though, not indicative of the night he's had running the football. No, you're exactly right about that because all through this evening, it's been their night, hasn't it? One play here. They get it against them. I wouldn't worry about that very much at all. Just continue to do what they've been doing. Fifty-four, right there, right there. Fifty-four, Mike. 
Man, oh, I, got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Second and 14. Yeah, good throw here, that's complete. That's complete. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Everyone dialed in. On third down, Larry. Touchdown! For a giant touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the night as his guys continue to pour it on. Well, something about this team, you just felt like they were one of destiny all season long, and they made themselves today, as you can see, the class of the NFC. Yeah, and it's starting to look more and more like a Super Bowl trip is very much in their future. And the fans starting to book those tickets. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Mm -mm -mm. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded at the eight. He's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. And out now come the Vikings. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Going to run with Madison again. And an alley to run. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. On first down, Trubisky. And the grab by Croft. The completion good for three, and it's second down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 36. Now a handoff here to his running back. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Now a first carry for their fullback. 
And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Third and two. Now Trubisky. And that's caught by Smith. They're hey, able to convert going for a touchdown. Down and that sets up a first and goal. Close to the end of the third quarter. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. just outside the five at the six. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Another carry now for Madison. Looking nope. for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, oh, but points. I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant you the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash here should be an easy one. And this one is right through. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white waving flag the and just, just want to get that. out of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He's closing in on 200 yards on the ground with the fourth quarter still to come. We're in the third. Good shot to get there. And now he's got to make sure he convinces his coaching staff to leave him out there and keep touching the ball because when you've had that kind of a day, there is a tendency to think about getting him out and saving some of it. Running backs never like to save yardage. You know he's tapping his quarterback on the shoulder. I'll take the ball again, please, right? Not turning down any carries. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. He continues to have a big night here under the lights carrying the football. And some guys prefer night games for whatever reason. Their bodies react a certain way. They love the spotlight. Maybe that's what it is. The best seats in the house... The ones where he's carrying the football for his offensive teammates. The worst seats, the 11 guys trying to tackle him on defense. A first down run by Barkley, pass. unsuccessful, as he won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight... It's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. execution and now they're set up nicely are they ever red zone i wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that a lot of teams like to use momentum to launch another one After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. 
And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Bro just beats One the quarter remains man. until the NFC crowns its champion. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So second and goal, and standing by himself in the backfield, Barkley. They'll give it to him up the middle. Let's go! Saquon Barkley with his second touchdown of the night as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership of that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead will swell by one more. Five plays there on that drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Yeah, I had a better... Out is the kickoff unit point. as they run up How and is. send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Vikings offense gets set to take over here. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the face. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that will help him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Too bad. I don't know about that. <laughs> Super tough. <laughs> Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. He's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure, the backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. They lost two there, and it's third down. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. The last catch took him two yards in the wrong direction. So now what can they do on third? From the shotgun is Trubisky. Fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. And they're going to get him down well short the first as he can only get this to the 30. It's a gain of seven, and that'll bring up fourth down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware. Ball may come your way. The Vikings send out their punter. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. Fielding at the 20. Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48. And that will come the offense as they take over. And New York set to take the field. This ball game certainly has gotten a little out of hand. This is normally when they say you, you got to fill. This is fill time for guys like you and I. But yeah, to be frank, just a dominating performance. Really impressive what we've seen. It is. I'm glad that you went in that direction because otherwise we're going to have to talk about the museum tour we took yesterday. Which was also impressive. Which was also very yeah. impressive. But this game... How they've done it, offense, defense, special team. They put it all together. And I gotta tell you, I am beat Get off me. by what I've seen from this team. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. 
Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bifema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll set up to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Watch the twist. Watch the twist. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. As a general rule, receivers love the comeback round because it puts them right in the sight lines of the guy throwing the ball. But in this case, the defenders saw it and were able to knock it away. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw here. Damn it! Coming in, he's taken down. Desmond Trufant with a sack. The corner blitz hits home. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking. But to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and it leads to a play action sack. Okay. Here's Riley really Dixon now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. This will be fielded at the 17. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. And now out comes Minnesota. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. He's got Smith here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a game of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. Ooh, I feel like I'm even, am I even trying anymore? Bro. Why didn't you just grab it? If he's their best threat on offense, you should open one cover guy on defense. It doesn't matter about size. They have had him locked up. That just his first catch of the game. Big reason why they're down. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Now Trubisky. Oh, why didn't you just kick it off? Incomplete. Kendrick Bourne, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Looking to throw again, Trubisky. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. A rough go there on third down. A loss of four. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. The Vikings send out their punter. He's been terrific so far. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. Now, if you're a fan of punting, this game's for you. He's been out there quite a bit. That one may be his best yet. Yeah, he certainly got his leg loose by now. It kind of reminds me of my college football coach, John Majors. He loved the punting game because he liked the positioning, the field position, and he loved to play defense. 
Damn, my way back here. Take this forward only up to about the seven. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Here's second and eight. A crow, how do you drop the ball? Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know, there's usually a nice comfort zone and throw into the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. The Giants on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. This is third and eight. They'll set up a throw. Okay, that's what's called. And this is good for a first down, his second grab of this NFC Championship battle. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So a little breathing room now. First and ten at the 17. Let's go, D. Big series right here. We got to step it up. Now Saquon Barkley. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Pretty good running there, nine yards. Sets up a third and one. The Giants on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball. You often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Hold on, y'all. They go play action here on first down. He's got his man on the corner. Crossing route. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Here's a give to Barkley. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they won't put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Here's a play fake as they set up the throw. And he finds a man in the crossing line. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. One heck of a third down conversion, 33 yards. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that, 
has been confidence because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them, and now it's been a real issue for them during this game. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Let's go, D, tighten up. Let's go, D, tighten up. A handoff to Barkley. And gets by him, and now a little daylight. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And down to the 16-yard line. And between the last two plays, they've moved it over half the length of the football field. Brendan, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Take this one down near the 15. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he will take it on in. For a giant touchdown. A great play there. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. As his guys continue to pour it on. And he keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on his back. He's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. What a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that will extend this big lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was finished by the touchdown run from the 15. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Vikings offense works their way back onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Now Trubisky to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A gain of four. Four yards on the pickup. And it'll make it second down. Throwing here, Trubisky. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. See what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. Out of the gun, Trubisky going deep for Diggs. He's got a man complete. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Vikings. Stephon Diggs, 82 yards. And the Vikings are able to at least knock this deficit down a bit. And that touchdown, well, it barely puts a dent in this lead. And 
Unfortunately, I'm having too many flashbacks right now. I remember getting beat down like this playing before. Oh, yeah, college, high school. College, not a heck of a lot of fun. I still remember playing and trying to tackle an elusive tailback who ended up scoring four touchdowns, 226 yards. He scored so many times <laughs> and had so many great runs. I knew every note to their school's fight song. I bet that ice bath felt extra cold afterwards, too. Oh, no, oh, oh, no, there was no ice bath. You're just trying to get out of there before the reporters got to you. Extra point attempt to come here. And they make the score a little bit more respectable here in our final quarter of play. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's polished off by a Viking score. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the 8. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. And New York set to take the field. We've got a lopsided game here. I, I don't know, Charles, what does the handbook say that we, we discuss when we've got a game like this in the fourth quarter? Hold on a second. Let me, let me thumb to the proper page on that. Know what it says? What? Let's discuss how we got here. This is a dominant performance. Where they took control of this game. How they've managed to keep control of this game. And then we go ahead and think about how we're going to leave here and get to the airport. In a lopsided blowout, the roads are usually open. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Let's get it together. And he'll give it here to his running back. Dances by him. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. Back to throw. And all oh, this is taken in one-handed. What a catch. A gain of six there on first. Okay, it's time for me to break out my thesaurus for that one. And I don't have anything. <laughs> that was amazing. One-handed in this weather. I mean, you know the ball's got to be slick. But to be able to catch it and come down with it. What do they call that? The process of the catch? He completed it all the way through. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Seven yards there and a first down. I know we're in the era of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space, but there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle, and you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. But with three minutes, 30 seconds left. Now a play fake here on first down. And he fumbled it. Oh! And the Vikings pick up the football. I can't stand the brother. But I'll be Often right on fumbles, there. You look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. Good. 
Good starting field position for the Vikings as they have it first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Following the fumble recovery, it's Trubisky. His throw incomplete. Johnson the intended target, and now it's second down. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. From midfield now, here's Trubisky. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Oh. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. He's having a big game through the air, and sometimes those smart decisions just dump it off. That's how you continue to have big games through the air. I agree totally. That's, that's a great analogy, a great way to put it, because he doesn't get too greedy where everything has to be pushed downfield, trying to create big plays that aren't there. You dump no, it off, that nice game, and things add up, and now you have the kind of game he's having. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. The Vikings send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. The outcome of this one, well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's, what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, broadcaster? No, I'm not going to go to the player part because when I think blowout... Because you won every game as a no, player. No, no, no. I think about being blown out. <laughs> and no one wants to go back to those memories. But, you know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that... You know, team put 70. I actually saw that happen twice. A team put 70 on their opponent. And in the NFL in the 2017 season, I saw one of those changing of the guard games where a team that hadn't been very good before now is dominating and kicking around a team who had been ruling their division. And that's when you earn your paycheck, right? As the, as the analyst, you got to fill that time. You've got to know what's going on out there and how it all happened. Well, obviously, that begs the question, what game was it? That was Seattle hosting Los Angeles, the Rams. Ah, yeah. Their second meeting of the season, and the Rams turned it around from the first one and blew out the Seahawks. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. He'll drop to throw. And that'll be incomplete. They're still throwing the football here. Now, obviously, the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays, keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. On second down now, Barkley. And he loses the football a second time. And the Vikings pick up the football. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. And the Vikings now heading on to the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, if there's got, got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion.
facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. To throw again on second down, Trubisky. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Now the Vikings will send out the special teams crew here for a field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. I don't think this will even, nope, it doesn't even get there. Well short, and this score will stay right where it is. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. Here's the giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Let's go, defense. Our time. It's our time. Now a handoff here to his running back. He'll be dropped shy of the 40 despite an excellent display of footwork. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Incomplete. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. And to give this time to the tailback. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. Now, that's how you start to get back in the good graces of your head coach. Remember, he fumbled on the last possession. How about the faith they showed him, giving him the ball again, and he repaid on picking up a first down. seven here that throw good for four it's second down four yards on that last completion so that sets up second six and they get to hoist the Hallis trophy unbelievable victory moving on to the Super Bowl I only hope that these players understand exactly who is behind that trophy. George S. Hallis, one of the creators of this great game of football of ours and creator of the NFL. What an amazing feeling and an amazing accomplishment. And that will do it for this one. For Charles Davis, myself, and the entire crew, we'll see you in two weeks at the Super Bowl.